Hey guys, welcome to Eastside High Priestess. Today we're going to be doing a, a intuitive messages for Aries. Guys from Aries Rising. Okay, so we're going to be using the Angels and Ancestors Oracle Deck. We also will be using Mystical Wisdom Oracle Deck. A message from there. Um, uh, all time fave um, Romance Angels. See what your lover or, or love interest is um, feeling about you, the way they're feeling, what they're thinking about you at this time. Uh, we're also going to be doing a message from Queen of the Moon, okay? Oracle deck, okay? We, for the tarot decks, we will be using Mystical Tarot and we will be using, um, the, what is it, Divine Legend? I mean, sorry, Divine Legacy Tarot. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Okay. Guys, I'm feeling anxious, so I don't know what's going on. Feeling positive vibes, good energy. Let's see what the message is that you have for us today. Aries. Messages for Aries, please. So it's guys and rest. messages for my bosses at this time did you already know Aries be running for it okay <laughs> alright guys messages for my Aries please Oh my goodness, guys. So we have the Nine of Cups. Okay. We also have, oh my goodness, guys. We have the Moon. But it was in reverse, so something could be um, coming to the light. Maybe some secrets or but wish fulfillment is here guys we got wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups we also have um pisces scorpio cancer um yeah cancer energy sorry we also have the five of swords okay be somebody thinking about some past and they think so of our energy is the queen of wands your this is your energy So what I'm getting here so far is, obviously there was, somebody had a wish, I mean, it manifested something, okay? Did somebody manifested something. But maybe they fucked that, they fucked that shit up. They did something. Because we got the five of swords here, like they trying to place blame when it's really them, okay? Some situ some situation that came to the light, they was playing games. Okay. Yeah, we got the Knight of Wands in reverse. They just wanted some box, y'all. They was playing. We got the Three of Swords, too. Yeah, they was playing with you. They know they broke your heart or whatever. Damn. Feeling anxious. They want to come back. I knew I was feeling that energy. Yeah. The Two of Swords. Libra. You could be messing with a Libra. Okay. Yeah, three of swords, queen of wands. <laughs> Look, he know he done fucked up, whoever. They know that it messed up. She was part of the wish fulfillment. You know ain't nobody like her, period. She the pretty bitch in fucking tarot. There ain't nobody fucking with her. You just really want, you was just, you just wanted to fuck. You was just playing hoe games, period. You playing hoe games. You ain't realize that this person was gifted to you. Period. Okay? Let's just say how it is. Let's just say, I, this is what I see. Okay? You finally, with the hangman, finally seeing things from a different perspective. We're going to clarify this message. With the mystical terror. Please clarify messages for Aries at this time, please. Messages. 
just for my Aries. Why just for Aries, please? What is this? I said, is this clarified even hit at this time? What is this nine cups? This spirit. Yeah. We got the Knight of Wands again. Okay. They're coming through with some passion. I don't know. It's like every time I see the Knight of Wands, I'm just never ever impressed. It's just like, yeah. Because, listen. The Queen of Swords, like, they ain't impressed either. Whoever you messing with, or you, listen, somebody could be messing with a Libra. Libra, Scorpio. I mean, damn, you could be messing with a Scorpio. <laughs> Shit. They could be a Libra, Scorpio, cuss. Hey. Okay. Damn, you drinking about shorty. Like, listen, two of swords again. Yeah, like, they make you happy, guys. Sorry, listen. Damn, they cutting you out, though. They cutting you out because you was playing games. You was playing games. Nine of Cups again. Here, Nine of Cups again. Two different decks. All right. Yeah. They see you as they wish fulfillment. Damn. Okay, what is this moon, Holy Spirit? Damn, Tower Moment. Nature Arcana. And with the moon, too. Hmm, okay. So it could be some, yeah, some shocking, like, secrets. Some secrets coming to, coming to light. Let's, let's get one more. I'm trying to be nosy, guys. So let's go at all. What's one more for this moon card in reverse, please, spirit, guys? What is this? Power moment. What's going on? Yeah. So somebody had a um, Gemini energy. Somebody can mess with a Gemini. Okay, they, they can have it in their chart. Um, let me just pause and say, because I should have said this at the beginning. If this doesn't resonate, it may not be for you. Please don't try to make it fit. This may resonate if it's in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. Now let's get back to it. You could be messing with a Gemini. Or well, some some came to light about. This twin flame. Somebody could have been messing with somebody on the low. They was already in a situation. Yeah, completion of a cycle though. Work hard at the end. Or maybe they trying they trying to come to you. They're coming. Trying to travel. See, what is this? Um, five of Swords. Yeah, they listen. It's the Devil card in reverse. Capricorn energy. <sighs> we had a hangman again. Seeing things from a different perspective. Um. Yeah, they was toxic. They part. They still are toxic. Or maybe they can want to come to you and express whatever the situation that was going that was going on that had the, the secrets they was keeping from you. We gonna clarify this. Yeah. Yes. They want you to have strength in the situation. Were they trying to have strength? They trying to come to you? Yeah, they want to. But for me, this in fool card, listen. In reverse, you just a damn fool. Sorry, I'm just going to say that. <laughs> okay, you trying to keep secrets and shit. Trying, you probably still lying with that with that devil card. And you not dealing with it. Yeah, you trying to be strategic with the seven of cards. Seven of, um, sword, sorry. Yeah, because you see that. They are abundant. They don't need your ass. Period. Or you don't need them. Or you don't need them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. High priestess. Listen. 
Oh, uh, damn, not even high priest. I'm sorry. Damn, you could be messing with a uh, Pisces. The um, Empress. They see you as Ember of Libra Taurus energy. Like I said, could be messing with the Libra. Okay, we're gonna get this message from your ancestors at this time. Spirit guys, what is the message for Aries at this time? Message for my Aries, please. Message for my Aries at the time, please. Okay. Man. Damn, three. Okay, so. Yeah, move beyond your ancestral patterns. So, in this situation, like I said, somebody could be coming back for reconciliation. Okay. Taking care of your needs. Bring, put yourself first. Okay? Because clearly they had no problem putting themselves first to begin with. Well, y'all wouldn't have been in that situation if y'all in, period. Okay? Yeah, ignite your passions. Just focus on what you're doing right now. Focus on whatever it is that you're studying or practicing at this time. Messages for Aries, please. Maybe there's no message for you guys. <laughs> message from my Aries at this time, Holy Spirit. Okay. Yeah, be grateful. So some of you guys could have been, could have been manifesting something at this time. Seeing the fruits of your labor with the nourishment. One more for Mystical Wisdom. I'm sorry, one more. We are also going to do Romance Angel too. So this is message from Mystical Wisdom at this time. For Aries at this time, so it's guys. What is the messages for my Aries at this time? Aries. Messages for Aries, please. Think big for your future. Thoughts are everything, guys. Your thought process is literally how you can change your whole state of being. Invite serendipity. 
and see your life. So, with these two cards, I'm getting... It's, 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 you have to do more than think. You have to feel. You have to exude that energy. You have to exude that energy. Every, any, any thoughts. Okay? Can manifest. Okay, but your energy that you exude has to match your thought process. Or whatever it is that you manifest won't stay. It'll come, but it won't stay, that's for sure. Okay? Okay, messages from your lover. What they want to tell you at this time. What does your lover want to tell you at this time? What are messages that your lover needs to tell you at this time? Aries. Listen. Messages for Aries at this time, please. What messages does Aries need to know? How is their lover feeling about them at this time or love interest? Messages from my Aries, please. Choice. What's the messages from my Aries at this time? Okay, so enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So, that's the energy. Um, religious factors may be a factor. Okay, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual path that you choose. It's also saying that you need to release your ex. Like this said right here, focus on you. Take care of you. Somebody, like I said in the beginning, somebody come back for reconciliation. They, they, you know, maybe trying to manipulate the situation or come back with some bullshit. They still talk. They still in that toxic energy. They not trying to do that growth. Okay, it's time for you to take care of you. Focus on you. What you doing with yourself? Ignite your passions. Focus on that. Yeah. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Engagement. So somebody wants to. Maybe they see you ain't playing no games. They trying to come back. And maybe they trying to offer you some serious type of commitment. So that you know they're not playing with you. Use your discernment. Hey that's all I can say. Use your discernment in the situation. Please guys. We don't want to fall back into the same cycles. Okay. Live and learn. And move forward. Life is not about stagnation. It's not. Hey, it's not. Hey, you want to be in that stagnant energy? That's where you want to be. If you think that you're going to be in that situation, that's what the hell. That's where the hell you're going to be at. If you ain't thinking about progression, hey, you need to focus on yourself. This, this is the spirit. Your spirit guy is telling you you need to focus on you. Your answer is telling you, look, don't fall back into the same ancestral patterns as you, your loved ones, whoever that you see, your family, whatever. Okay? Don't fall into don't fall back into that situation. Messages for Aries, please. Messages for my Aries. All right. Messages. Okay. Messages for my Aries at this time. One more. That's it. One more. All right. 
time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Give it time. Whatever the situation is, even this the message could be, be that your person is trying too hard at this time. They need to give it time. Everything happens for a reason. Okay? If if the situation didn't work out, maybe it wasn't the right time. Okay? Don't try to make shit fit when it don't need when it's clearly not the the puzzle piece clearly does not fit. Don't try to make it fit. Okay? There's a time and place for everything. Okay, this one says, When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Yeah, like live and learn, like I'm saying. Like that's what life is about. Through every connection, you are evolving. Or you should be. If not, then that's why you still could that's why you still become in that same cycle, in that same pattern. Okay, and that's no there's no progression there. It's none, sorry. Listen, okay. Next is close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. I was just speaking about that. Wasn't I just speaking about that? Um, your thoughts? Your thoughts and actions? Uh, yes, yes. Mystical wisdom, yeah, your thoughts are everything, okay? Thoughts are literally everything, but you must act on that too. You have to exude that energy. You have to. You have to. Otherwise, I don't know how it's going to happen for you. I don't know how it's going to stay in your life. All right, last one. Look deep within your heart, and you will feel my love. My love for you is deep as the ocean. Wow. Wow, guys, somebody is really in love with you. Damn, they feel sad. I can, I can feel that. Like, I can feel the energy. The person is, like, really heartbroken. They just want to tell you how much they love you, but... I mean... I don't, I don't like to say, but... They love you. It's just not the right time. Like I said, everything happens... At the right time in your life for you. So, it's just not the time... You know, in this situation, obviously, you know, can help lead to growth. Just if you take your needs first in your new situation. Put your needs first. Ignite your passions. Focus on yourself. Okay. All right, Aries. Love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Good night. Or good morning. <laughs>